Thank you so much for staying tuned to TMI. Believe you me, it took me close to how many hours yesterday to get these two gentlemen. I was still talking to some presenter about a uh, few minutes past 10, yes, p.m. at night. You see what we need to do to make sure that you get informed, educated, and of course, entertained. To get guests in the studio sometimes can really make one move mountains even in the middle of the night just say communicating with guests can you come will you come please do come and stuff like that topics to get a balance uh panelist well with me here in the studio there are two vibrant youths yeah and they are uh, both having affiliations to two different political parties when they start talking you get to hear where the sympathy lies okay it's all about the place of opinion polls the impact of opinion polls in a do 2020 gubernatorial election we have big wigs really competing contesting yes for the seat of the dennis osadebe avenue that is the coco with me here in the studio i have a, a political analyst public affairs commentator he has a sympathy for the ruling party here. Yeah. Join me to welcome Stanley Osaze. Stanley, Thank welcome you. to TMI. It's on this edition. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Similarly so close to Stanley is another vibrant youth. He has a sympathy for now the opposition. Join me to welcome Emmanuel Ibogum. Emmanuel, welcome to TMI. It's on this edition. Yes, good morning, viewers at home. It's a pleasure to, to be here with you. Okay, well, if you take a look at elections globally in, uh, how will I put it now, in developed countries, you get to see the U.S., you get to see Germany, uh, you know, Britain, you just name it. Opinion polls matters a lot in their election. You get to hear, let's get down to the streets, various cities, let's get to hear what citizens, the lecturers have to say about candidate A, candidate B. And somewhere along the line, everything tends to go towards the opinion pool when the election eventually materialized uh, from the beginning to the end. You get to see everything tallying with the opinion polls. The big question now is in Nigeria, a dosage to be precise, do you see it happening? Does the opinion pool have impact? in election especially as a dual governorship election on september 19 draws near emmanuel let me start off from you yes um first of all we we live in a society where we where we find it difficult to co you know to collate uh, statistics mm -hmm. as the case may be and uh, we also live in a society where government itself is also trying to you know, give information to citizens that do not reflect the true position on what is on ground. Uh, very quickly, if I, if I go by what is uh, obtainable today in our Edo, you know, uh, political space, we have a government that have said uh, they have created 157,000 jobs. I use the word created. And if somebody like me wants to, you know, ask questions. I would ask, can we get uh, at least the information of a hundred thousand persons who must have benefited from this policy of government? Until date, till date, government has found it very difficult to, to marry those, uh, those issues. If I ever want to be very factual with what the situation on ground is, I will also make you understand that uh, the matter that unfolded itself very recently, some few weeks ago, where you saw the likes of uh, Charity, a former member of uh, the. I wouldn't want to a, go into mentioning names now. Okay, I have sorry, my reasons. sorry. I have my a, reasons. A, okay, a, a former director at uh, the Board of Internal Revenue, where he came to say that he found it very difficult to marry the issue of taxation and the jobs the government say he has created. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in any sane society, uh, those uh, 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 economic growth should uh, marry themselves per so. But we have seen it to be a different situation on ground. Uh, Coming closer again to look into the issue of opinion pool, the matter to ask today is how are you being able to know the you know what what is the yardsticks for measuring those opinions of the masses when you cannot marry statistics of government you know in terms of what their their their, their policies are to the people. Mm -hmm. So, firstly, uh, some of us are really not you know too happy with the fact that. Uh, statistics under the governor Godwin led of Baseki's government cannot marry you know with realities on ground so that some of us can be able to at least you know analyze the political arena to a state where uh, 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 we can actually say this is what is on ground 
as of today, I do not believe a government that exists that have created over uh, 157,000 jobs in you know the whole of South South should be combating itself in a political arena, as the case may be. So looking at all of this, you know, I don't want to even go into the case of the COVID-19 you just spoke about on your earlier program, yeah. where uh, contact tracers, uh, case managers, you know, are still being owed to date. So these are the issues when you when you fail not to not to carry you know the expenditure of, of public resources with a detailed information. It gives an unlevel playing ground for opinion pool to be, you know, to be to be to be checked. All right. So that is it. <coughs> All right, Emmanuel. I will come back to you. Want to go for a break? When we return, we'll get to hear Stan's own view when he stands to react to what Emmanuel just laid down on the table. We'll be right back. Do stay with us. TMI. Every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying tuned. This is TMI Sunday's edition. We're talking about the impact of opinion polls in the Ado 2020 election that will be taking place come September 19, 2020. Stan, you heard Emmanuel's opening remark, and I know you have so much to say about it. He talked about relating uh, 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 something like tax and revenue. He talked about also uh, job creation. All right. He talked about the COVID-19 uh, uh, war, so to speak, the fight against COVID-19. Uh, for what he said, this will form a major chunk of the opinion polls. Can we please get your reaction? Yeah, first, uh, do not mind my voice anywhere. I lost yeah. my voice somehow as a result of the campaign. But I wonder why my brother has become a victim of his own personal delusion. When it comes to understand the workings of government and statistical application, we need to look at it from the pluralistic value. Very firstly, he needs to understand what it means by job creation. Even as good as President Donald Trump, all other presidents of the world, they don't just create all the jobs to accommodate population. The duty, the primary responsibility of government is to create an enabling environment, create a direct and indirect employment that can better the life of the people. And I think it is expedient that will begin to get details directly from the feed. Now, if the, if the, the, my brother here sitting should be able to make a proper investigation. We know what is going on in the CFO office. Do you know how many persons that have been indirectly employed from the CFO office alone? Go to other various ministries. You will see the number of employment created by this government. And what about the enabling environment? Now, if you look at, this is just a, within the range of three years plus. This government has not been able to stay for four years, three years plus. Go and check details on ground and go and look at what is available. Just recently, some, pe some persons of their divide have been coming out all in a bid to discredit the, 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 the name of this government. What did they do? They went ahead to begin to say, this government has not performed, this government has not done anything, this government has not done that. That is why under the ages of Edo Diaspora Connect Worldwide, which happens to be the official coordinator, decided to went into Operation Show Obaseke's project. Are you aware that in Edo State today, Governor Godin Odaseke Obaseke has been able to establish a well-organized rubber research center in Orunibe? This is the lost glory of Edo people. You know, Edo was known for rubber plantation in the past. Like company like Dollops and other left because of the fact that there was no longer an availability of these various materials. And as of today, this particular sector has been resuscitated by this government. Do you know the number of employment that will be created from that particular dimension as we speak? People are the ones doing the planting. These are employment generation. Now, what about certificate of occupancy that I've earlier mentioned? Yeah. These are the direct and indirect employment created by this administration. Then he talked about um, uh, the Board of Internal Revenue, Mr. Charity, mm. which you said you should not mention the name of anybody. And I, I just subscribe. mentioned the name yes, again. And I subscribe. Yeah. I know the person that is talking. Uh, as far as we are concerned, the whole of us, we are in the same camp. Although I was never a member of that camp, uh, uh, we were crying that the okay. governor of the day refused to share the collective wealth. Myself, I was part of it. He was part of it. The same person he mentioned his name was part of it. The all of us were part of it. That we must do everything humanly possible to remove this administration. But let me tell you, to some of us, we we'll believe that in as much as we are fighting for our stomach infrastructure, mm. there is need for us to put the interest of the people first in whatever we do. Now, are you aware 
that my friend sitting here, Emmanuel Gogu, is a strong critic of the Obaseki administration. But he openly said, and I can bring out the video, he said, I have never seen a government like this who established a well organized, functional power sector, the OCOMA power plant. He said it. If you, if you doubt me, I have my, my gadget here. Not to worry, he will react to that. He will react to that. So the truth of the matter is this. When we are criticizing government, let us be logical, let us be constructive, and let us be sincere. Let our action be born out of what is expected. Then that is that in that dimension. Then it talked about the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, other states decided to learn from the strategy adopted from the adjust, by the adjusted government. Even the president, when, the gov when this COVID-19 uh, invaded Nigeria, there was total lockdown. The governor of the day said, I cannot lock the state in totality because of the fact that if I choose to lock the state in totality, there will be economic implication that will push the masses into the backwater of economic decadence. And if the masses are pushed into the backwater of economic decadence and people are hungry and dying, it is synonymous with the same COVID-19. In fact, the Benio always say, Okuwane is the most difficult war in life. So the government said, no, let's see how we can be able to manage it and at the same time give an economic lifeline. To the people, are you aware that at the end of the day, even the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria adopted the curfew policy of the Edo State Government, which started from uh, six o seven o'clock to six o'clock in, in the morning? Then the, the federal government adopted the same strategy. Now, what about in the educational sector? The Lagos State Government, who happens to be an APC administration, openly came out and we like to learn the, the, the policy of the Obaseki administration in Edo State. So, the truth is. When we are criticizing government, let us criticize this government on the basis of sincerity and fairness, not because we want to bring down the administration at all costs. Okay. Now, look, if you talk to the same job, let's anchor on the job. Mm. The traffic officers that are working the, in, the, in different segments of a door state, who are they? Are they not a door indigent? What about people around? Go and check this job. It is available everywhere, and this government has been able to create it. Let me tell you the simple truth. I want to ask him a simple question. As of today, Emmanuel Bogu is agitating for Pastor Saige Izeyamu. Are you aware that the road leading to Izeyamu's house was even tagged by Governor God, you know, by a former secretary to the state government was not able to influence even a single I challenge him to show me a single project influence, even if Izeyamu was not the governor. I challenge him to show me a single project influence as the Secretary of State Government and as the former Chief of Staff to a state government. All right, thank so you, if sir. you are fighting, fight on the basis of sincerity and not on the basis of the fact that you want to bring in your interest at the detriment of the collective destiny of the right who you claim to play, protect. Imanai Bobo happens to be an activist. Thank you. But I begin to wonder, thank as you. of today, his strong affiliation, even as we speak, I'm wearing... No, 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 we, 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 we don't do that. What, we don't do that. What do that. Do that. Is, uh, all this. So thank you, Stan. Thank you, Stan. I will you. come back to you on that. We spoke at Len challenging Please Emmanuel I Bogu. Well, Emmanuel, he, he raised so much point, too many points, and I know that you really, really want to react to, to, to this point he raised. He, he, he talked about uh, 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 so many projects and back to bond by the current administration. He talked about also job creation, and due to that, this will form uh, a kind of very strong opinion poll as Edo is getting set to match uh, uh, the, 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 the day for them to elect their leaders when you talk about electioneering? Yes, um, well, uh, for me, I, I really want to say that I'm not surprised that Sakuno Kodi, my friend, is talking this way. Because, firstly, he comes from a community where unemployed mm. persons, yeah. you know, has, you know, a high number of uh, uh, persons there. Uh, in his community, as somebody who supports uh, the governor, Gordon Nogegasa, Baseki led the uh, administration. In fact, even projecting the false statistics of uh, over 157,000 jobs mm. that have been created. I believe that maybe some 20 persons uh, would have actually come out from his community that he can actually give us the names mm. and uh, addresses and phone numbers of such persons mm. uh, if they truly exist. Uh, not only that, let me narrow it down to the issue of COVID-19 that is actually an issue the governor has gazetted uh, many laws on and uh, the, the, the policies he has adopted. I don't know if my brother, Comrade Stanley Osazio Sakunokodi, that have been going around with cameras to showcase uh, the substandard project of Obaseki across the state. I don't know if he has actually visited uh, 
the Stella or Bassinger Hospital. How where do you know it's substandard? Very substandard. You, you can see. Because I want you, that may be subject I want you, to I want other you to visit. I want you to visit the road close to his community by Christ choosing. Mm. I want you to visit that. I want him to visit that road with his media team and report what is there and, to, and tell the people if uh, that is the kind of project we ought to be celebrating in the 21st century. Not just that, sir. Let me narrow it down to the issue of uh, uh, job creation. As of today, Obaseki is saying he has created 157,000 jobs. I expected the uh, Commissioner Stanley was to tell me in the uh, health sector, with the governor has brought 2,000. In uh, commerce and industry, the governor has brought uh, 11,000. In uh, 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 oil and gas, the governor has brought 5,000. In uh, security, the governor has brought 11,000. You know, in every economy of the state, we're talking about opinion pool. You should be specific in, in, you know, in terms of statistics. When you see a government where the chief of staff recently resigned and gave issues to why he resigned, when he could not marry statistics on what the job, uh, 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 what they call the job initiative, uh, uh, Edo Jobs uh, uh, organization was actually putting out for Edo people to consume as a uh, statistic the governor was uh, working with. He found it very difficult to, to marry the statistics. Those were part of what led to his, uh, you know, disassociating himself from the failed administration of uh, Gordon Ogigasa or Basaki. That aside, let us narrow it down to what is obtainable today. Under four years, Adam Soli Oshomole came up with a declarer Oshomole Hospital at Owoimi. Working, staffed, you know, with state-of-the-art equipment. What do we have today in Stella Obasanjo, despite the fact that the governor came out to say in a space of five days he has expended a, a billion naira to purchase a, a ventilators and the rest. What are the state of those ventilators? Are any of them up and running? Those are the questions to ask. Or do you just still want to, you know, buy equipment that will be locked down in a room and uh, after a period of time you come out to tell us that uh, the equipments are worn out. As of today, I have been privileged to be there. As of today, none of the ventilator machines that Obaseki bought that are working. Are you sure about this? I am specifically sure. Mm -hmm. If there's any that is working, I, the last time I was here, I said it also on Sunny Duke's uh, uh, program that the governor should show us a pictorial evidence of those uh, 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 ventilator machines working. That aside, Stan also raised so many issues about uh, my person, uh, one supporting uh, the, the sack of Baseki or Baseki must share the people money. No. What we are talking of is a government of inclusion. What we want as a do people is a government that we can sit back and say, yes, this government understands our pain and truly the government can meet up to our demands as a people. Part of this is what happened recently in the Kyosa market. A governor that collects 757, uh, 750 million naira security vote could not give out the 100 million naira that he willingly promised. Are you sure of this so, amount? Do you have of the amount? As I speak, to, yes, of course, it is on the public domain. It is mm. not uh, according to Wikipedia. Mm. Wikipedia said that those state government gops as much as 900 million naira on security votes mm. on a monthly basis. According to Wikipedia. Wikipedia, yeah, you can okay. actually uh, right. check that. So, right. if you even look at it closely again, a governor that has gopped over from FEC allocation over 230 billion naira in the last three years. Mm. A governor that says he has a revenue. Stan, uh, I hope you're taking note of all this uh, point uh, is raising. And I are going to react to that. An IGRO of over uh, 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 30 billion naira mm. on yearly basis. Uh, if you are, if you are, if you amount that to over the three and a half years, you will see that the governor has also gotten over 120 billion. So if by the time you add the uh, uh, 240 billion to 120 billion, you see the governor has gopped over 360 billion naira of Edo people's money. All right. Now, the question to ask is can this man who is supporting the governor tell us sector by sector where this money has been invested in? Okay. And to crown it all, the Osama Power project that he said I, I, I commended the governor for. Mm -hmm. Rightly speaking, I'm not a man that believes in fairness and come out to say the truth. He knows me for that. Mm -hmm. I, I, no. I, I saw a project. I saw a project that the governor did that was commendable. Okay. And at that instance, I said, oh, I will commend the governor for initiating this, but mm -hmm. I would only give the governor my support for if this project is seen to be up and running. And the last time I checked, even your station was also advertising the test running of this uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, power plant today to see working the answer All right. is no Imanda, i will come back to you because you raised so much points and i'm glad stan was taking note of the points you raised but the one that really uh may garner a kind of a reaction from the populace is resignation of some key officers in the governor's cabinet he likened it to the failure in some part of the governor's administration he talked about billions he used the word gap many people will have other opinions about the word gap on the word gap uh he used the word gap the money billions more billions uh, 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 of naira not that you are an added supporter of the governor do you agree with all these allegations very firstly 40 billion resignation of some top officials excuse, okay. and the rest go ahead uh, very firstly you understand mm -hmm. this is game of politics and uh, there are some persons who may not be in agreement with the current governor of the state because of the fact that their loyalty remains with the national chairman of the all progressive congress mm -hmm. and we should not also forget that the person who happens to be the candidate of the all progressive congress today pastor sagi is um, adam Oshomole told us publicly when he was being interviewed by uh, uh, Swain Akim Baloui, mm. that he lies effortlessly. And they said, but this man was your director general in your campaign. Do, uh, you not knowing that he lies? He said, I know before that he lies, but I needed him. Oshomole emphatically announced it. Mm. And in the run-up of the 2016 gubernatorial election, Oshomole openly said that he has never seen a well-competent economic aficionado like Obaseki. Mm. And he openly said, again, that with his network of friends, Obaseki was able to gather resources to build a structure that he ought to name after Obaseki in government house. And the police said that Obaseki assisted him for eight years as in his government. That Obaseki did not receive a single dime as salary. And again, at the end of the day, Shomulek cram it up by making Obaseki the best man in his wedding. And in 2020 today, Oshomole came back again to say, no, I don't want him anymore because this man refused to pay play to the gallery. Now let me tell you the simple truth. The same pastor Saidi Isaiah who accused that the Oshomole publicly on a video that right from Bender State, the Oshomole that is present today, right from the Midwest State, Bender State, and in the Dose State, Oshomole received the sum of 1.4 trillion naira. 1.4 trillion naira in eight years. Not to talk about the amount of money that was borrowed. And during this time, it was even the run-up of the elections. We did not add the 100, the seven, the seven million dollars. The, the 74 million dollars per each, each trenches that was borrowed by Oshomole in three trenches. We did not add it to it. Now, when you calibrate all this together, what was the cost implication of the security vote when Oshomole was in government? The truth of the matter, Oshomole is not contesting, but now that he has decided to bring him to a discussion, let us discuss about that. And that's what we go to Isayamu. You, can, you cannot place me at the receiving end. You are talking about basic whereas you are hiding Isayamu. When we know that Oshomole put openly said that the only reason why he refused to bring him Pastor Isayamu to any public office is because he knows he's a thief. Oshomole told us again that he, Isayamu, is a pastor in the day and a, 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 a for seven at night. But, 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 but let's go to the issues. Hold on now, hold on now, hold on now, hold on now. Hold on now, hold on now. now let, let's stick to the issue because from yeah. what he said, he said this is a political the, the, statement. He can't say this political statement. If that is so, a so, so please, gentlemen. Let us agree with him. If that is a political yeah. statement. Mm. So what they are saying today mm. is still a political statement. Mm. If what you said in 2016 is a political statement, mm. in 2020, the same statement is a political statement. Then let's look at Oshomole's job creation. Oshomole created a door, yes. As a governor, when he was leaving office, he disbanded the door years, which was 10,000 jobs, according to him. Mm. Somebody create, came out to say, I will create 100, uh, uh, 200,000 jobs. As we speak today, land acquisition is as easy as everything. He knows me too well. I, I, I was once a member of CDA. In a state. That's the truth. Still, I'm still in no, I am supposed to be angry. I'm supposed to be aggrieved. Under a normal situation, because Obaseki disbanded our activities. But the truth of the matter is, even if your personal activity is disbanded, and you know that this government is working towards the right direction, why can't we support him? Now, let me give a classical example. Are you aware, under our Shomele regime, we have, um, I read up an original planning as a profession. I am a professional time planner. We have what we call the policy plan. But Stan, excuse me. Oh, 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 are, oh, 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 you hold, hold on, hold on. I know, I know. But Oshomele is not content. Oh, so, yes. The truth about Hold on, let me say this. Let me say Oshomole is not con uh, uh, contesting. Yes. But the truth is, under Oshomole dispensing, because he, we are making comparison. Mm. He said something about Oshomole. Mm. Now, so there is need for us to really make comparison. You are comparing a man that I've just said for three years. Now, under Oshomole administration, policy plan to have access to CFO, you must pay nothing less than 1.6, 1.7 million. 
No individual can boast of having a certificate of occupancy. Under our basic administration, with your certificates of tax clearance, with your 50,000 naira and your assess assessment fee within the range of 20,000, even if your plot is 300,000 plus in one place, you are entitled to a certificate of occupancy. And the law says within 90 days. And within these 90 days, Obaseki issues you your CFO, which has given the right and impetus to all other people to have access to land. If you look at the advert, they will say, now who gets CFO, now get land. That is that in that sector. And let me tell you what it meant, what we meant by indirect job. Now, I am a consultant, although not official, to the CFO office. I do CFO for people in the diaspora who are mainly concerned about having CFO. And I can assure you that people are very, very happy to get access to this. Okay. That that. Now, I'm, I'm responding to his statement because there are very many. They talk, if, when he wants to talk about the issue of job creation, I, ad, I, I admonish my brother, Mr. He's my very close ally. We see almost on a daily basis. That is why we are managing ourselves here. Now, I advise him to go to ICT okay. to get more details about the job. All now, right. he talks about the chief of staff. The chief of staff who resigned from the administration of Obaseki is a strong loyalist of Adam Oshomole. And get it clear, Obaseki is not running on that APC. He's not running on that PDP. And there are people who are naturally attached to the APC under the tutelage of Adam Oshomole. So because of that, you will not expect everybody to migrate to the other political party okay. all in a bid. Now, again, all right, let's stand, talk about stand, the amount of resources that is hold on, stand, stand, hold on, stand, 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 hold on, people. stand, 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 thank you, thank you, stand, 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 uh, uh, mentioning names. Yes. Just I uh, asked him to react to every point you raised, but it's like it's in difficult time, so I have to like you know stop him for a while to create that balance. I like her to please dissuade from <laughs> attacking individuals or mentioning them. Let's take a look at the opinion polls. We have opinion polls on the social media, on the print media, even electronic media. And if you go out there also to the public, you get to hear what persons are saying about the candidates or political parties that are going in for the Dennis Osadebe Avenue. With all these points raised, do you think it's going to have an impact in the election? Um, very firstly, um, you made mention about social media. Mm. You made mention about uh, opinion polls. One would want to ask, as of today, the current government of a dual state enjoys the patronage of over 300 media aides, particularly most of who are appointees, you know, on social media, digital media, all forms of media that you know the government has hired to propel propaganda. For some of us who base our discussion on the basis of facts, we have always said that a government with over 300 media aides that cannot give us a clear statistics of how our monies are being expended is, is obviously not uh, you know, employing that services to the best of Edo people. As of today, even my brother who is seated here, you can actually see how difficult it is for him to defend the... <laughs> He's actually laughing. You can see how difficult it is for him to defend the, the governor on this platform. I just only give him a tip of the iceberg on issues that are before the public domain, you know, for, 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 to build up their opinions before the election. Mm. But very sadly, very sadly, we see, that, uh, we see that our governor, our governor that we have today, a man who has uh, in the past condemned the People Democratic Party, you know, who has said so many terrible things about the People Democratic Party. But these are just political statements. Yes, also. no, I'm, and I'm, the government never condemned PDP. I'm coming, sir. I'm the coming, sir. government have not made a statement I'm against the oh, 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 no, stand, stand, stand. Okay. He has the floor. You are interjecting. Well, he has the floor. I yeah. beg you. Yeah. 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 A, a, a governor who has said so many things about uh, the PDP of late, just see the PDP as a party he can romance with and uh, you know continue holding a uh, sway to power. But for me, for me, for me, I believe, I believe that morally. Morally, we are being faced with a governor that does not like the poor. Because when I say he does not like the poor, uh, the number of persons the governor has sent to prison, the number of persons he has sent to prison on the basis of uh, those persons who are disobeying, uh, you know, science and uh, road uh, traffic laws, mm. and uh, you know, science of not trading on the road and trading in the market, 
if you go around Bini City today, in fact, while I was coming here, I drove past uh, New Bini, you know, and uh, Environs. If you see the number of street trading, you know, in the presence of uh, this uh, public works that he has used, you know, to coerce our people into, into one form of mobile court and from there to prison, you know, a man that would do that and at the late end of his uh, government, where those uh, uh, economic or those uh, social policies he has made for the society to benefit, to have easy flow of traffic, should be seen to be on the highest level of enforcement. He's now shedding all those things and playing blind eyes to such kind of policies that he initiated. So the question to ask, morally, is it right? Morally, it is not right. So when it is not right and the government is adopting it, what does that show you? That is an evidential signs of failure. So for me, for me, I want to believe, and I want others who are also watching me at home to also believe that they are being faced with a government of delivering and a government of failure. All right, okay, now you, you just hold on. I will come back to you on that statement. You talked about people that have been arrested uh, due to them breaking one rule or the other. Stan is going to react to that when we return after this break. break. It's all about impact of opinion polls <laughs> in Edo 2020. Do stay tuned. TMI, every opinion counts. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for uh, staying tuned. It's all about Edo 2020 and uh, opinion polls, the impact it will be having in the election. And with me here in the studio, I have two vibrant youth, Emmanuel and Stanley. They are both political analysts. They are sharing their thoughts and opinion uh, of what the impact will be like come a do 2020. Now, it might have raised so many points that you really want to react to. Talking about people that were jailed due to the fact that they violated some rules and regulations, talking about street trading. But from what he said, we see how street traders today, nobody is doing anything about it. He now anchored by saying this is a failure on the part of the ruling party. Take it up from there. Uh, first, uh, I will have to start from the issue you raised about the security votes. Because as at now, hmm. You are having two separate political parties. I wish the criticism was within the poor view of the APC. So, okay, let us not make comparison with the previous APC administration in Edo State. Now, sir, today we will agree to the fact that under the leadership of Governor Gordon Oreo so Baseki, pensioners are no longer crying. Even if some selected persons have been mobilized now to come out and begin to engage in a frivolous protest from an activity that was, that was orchestrated by the same Adam Zotromole administration. Was that today, have you ever asked the reason why salaries have been paid as, paid as at Wendy's, why pensioners get their money even before registration? The answer is no. But all what they talk about is the resources, the resources, the resources, without looking at the application and how it is used to manage the interest of the people. Now, let's go to the, the, the area of road construction. Under the APC administration, under Somali administration specifically, a single road per kilometer was started at a cost of one billion naira. E.g., the Bini Airport Road. This airport road that you've seen, one billion naira per kilometer. And the, the company that constructed that was a company owned by their own brother that is spreading millions, billions uh, of money here and there today. And if you look at the cost of that road, it was at the cost of eight billion naira. When Obaseki came, he said, No, we cannot continue like this. He called all the contractors. Please, the Lego, uh, um, data state is waterlogged. River state is waterlogged. This of, uh, every of these states, including the NDDC, cannot construct a road above 125 million, 150 to 180 million. Why on earth will we be constructing road at a cost of over one, uh, 250 million per kilometer or at, at, at times a billion? Then they told this contractor to please, if you cannot do it the way we want it, we can bring a new one. The same contractor that are working today, they are the contractor that worked in the past. Do you know what happened? At the end of the day, the contractors agreed to work in line with the amount of resources that the government is really ready to expend, in line with what is obtainable in global best practice. But as of today, these same people are coming out again to criticize the same administration. What about the, those who are receiving the balance money? Who are, who are using this road construction as drain pipe and are coming out to cry, this man must go, this man must go. Then during the time of examination, we used 250 million naira to print question paper on that assembly administration. Obama said, we cannot continue like this. How can you use 250 million naira to, 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 to organize the, uh, a question paper? 
this is what we can spend. Do you know that the uh, uh, exam was done successfully at a cost of 30 million? Those who were collecting the balance 222, 220 million naira started crying. Ah, this man is changing what we have on ground. Oshomole, look at the person you assisted. Oh, look, oh, that was the reason behind the crisis on ground today. Now, if you look at Uronibe Road, a road constructed in Uronibe, as is in Uruibe, the company who bid that for such road bid that within the range, within the range of 4.8 billion. To construct the whole of that road. A company that never bid debt for the contract, Setraco, was given the contract at the cost of eight billion. When those who bid debt all bid debt within the range of four point eight billion under the Oshomole administration. Is this not a monumental corruption? Let's leave that and let's go to the issue he raised. Iba Hawking. I said it before now, and he knows I'm a professional town planner. Now, if you allow people to begin to hawk on the way like that, freely let them just begin to hawk. When you have children who close from school. Returning from school, and those market women are given the opportunity to take over the public walkway or right of way, as the case may be. Then, if you give opportunity for the students who are returning back from school or vulnerable population to now begin to drag road with the carriageway where vehicle normally plies, then if accident happens and somebody lost his life in the process, those who are selling on the road will always have their gain to say, Yes, we have made gains. But what about the person who lost his family? So because of that, the government has to do what it, what it could to create sanity. And as we speak today, we know, we know the situation of Ring Road, we know the situation of Ted, we know the situation of New Bini and all of that area alike. Now, he said, as of today, they are not using natural land, they are not leaving them to begin to sell on the road. Mm -hmm. I refuse to subscribe to that because he just used his own mouth to make such statement. I believe the people should be the judge in this contest. The board of us are of interest group. That is the truth. We have interest in this political situation. You want Pastor Saige Zayamu to win, where I want Obaseki to win, but let us allow the masses to be the judge. They knew what is going on. And as we speak today, under the Obaseki administration, go to Olubu. I challenge him. He normally carries camera to go and identify defects in this administration. But tell him to go to the area. Where let, let him balance his report. Go and check what is happening. The modular refinery. They questioned the modular refinery. They never knew that the governor was working with the modular refinery. They were shocked when it came out. Modular refinery has been completed 70%, and you expect the governor to complete all this within a twinkle of an eye? If it's not because of the fact that Obaseki was focused, he cannot even work. A man that, because he refused to subscribe to, to, the, the, to, the, the, to the normal narrative of the past, they launched a fierce onslaught against him. And if you are being fought, how will you focus as a government? In spite of that, Obaseki decided to do what is expected, and I swear today he has been able to establish a legacy project. And we have, all, we have said before now that the reason why we are having failure in successive administration is lack of consistency in policy administration. Are you aware that under Oshomole administration, all the legacy project of Dr. Samu Bumudia was left to wallow into the backwater of economic, uh, economic decadence? Are you aware that this very project have they, they returned into a state of white elephant project, a moribund state. But Obaseki came and said, no, you cannot begin to initiate new projects when you lack maintenance culture to, to maintain what has been on ground. Go and check it. This various project as of today has been a, 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 a light in, as, or a centerpiece right. of economic development right. in the new state. So what All I'm right. saying in Russia, crave my indulgence, mm. ipso facto. The truth is this, why, uh, although he has openly agreed that they want a government that will put their feelings into consideration. Let it not be your feelings alone. Let it be a feeling of the overall Edo people. And okay. I think that is what Obaseki stands for. All right, thank, thank you, thank you, you Stan. Now, he, he raised many issues on advanced opinion polls. When you talk about opinion polls, people are saying part time the polls of the people if it's going to reflect in the forthcoming election. He talked about a uh, uh, project being abandoned by the past administration. He mentioned somewhere over there uh, a project left, uh, so White Elephant Project, uh, quoting him uh, directly. And he talked about this amount. It shouldn't be only for certain persons, but should be for a collective persons in a those state. You also jettisoned uh, the opinion you gave about those who are like, you know, arrested formally and now they're left to wallow in the street. No, he said it's not true. That he didn't really, really notice that. He even challenged you to go out there with your camera to No, I didn't say people were not arrested. Let me quickly correct that. I didn't say so. The truth is, if you want Nigeria to be good, mm. you must enforce the law in totality. What he said is, it was being enforced in the past, as at now, they are now using lukewarm attitude, and okay. I refuse to agree to that. Okay, Emmanuel, um, over to you. Yes, um, just I would like to go by what you have asked, so that uh, the audience at home uh, mm. follow up uh, 
the discussion as, as the case may be. Mm. Firstly, I want to disagree with uh, my brother here, Stanley, on the fact that Oshimole abandoned the uh, projects initiated by uh, our elder statesman of uh, blessed memory, uh, no other person than uh, General uh, Bumudia. I would want to start by drawing his attention, in case he's not aware, that Adam Sali Oshimole, in fact, to, to bring back the memories of our late elder statesman, constructed constructed an edifice at the New Era uh, uh, School at uh, New Biniaxis that houses one of the highest populated uh, number of uh, school children in Bini City, as the case may be. That school, the only time the governor has opened that school are only for two specific reasons. One, to promote his, uh, you know, forceful uh, uh, Alagodao summit in that multipurpose hall that was built. Secondly, when he claimed that he has trained over 11,000 teachers at a cost of uh, 1.5 million naira per teacher. Not only that, I find it very difficult that somebody like Stanley is not also aware that under the leadership of Adam Sali Oshomole, the uh, recently uh, renovated uh, uh, Bemodia Stadium was also, you know, put on the limelight in the Nigerian uh, sport uh, facilities, where series and series of national matches were also being played. So when he says that uh, uh, Oshomole abandoned the Bimudia's uh, project, I still want the public to judge from their own sense of reasoning that this, uh, my brother here, is only trying to play to the gallery and not talking on the basis of facts. Um, secondly, again, he raised issue about uh, the traders. It is not longer news. He drove past New Bini this morning while getting to the studio. Uh, except he's uh, doubting with me. The moment we are leaving now, uh, he's on social media, I'm on social media. For us to get the facts straight, I will want the two of us to have the stop at the popular New Bini market so that we can also snap and report to the world what is actually transpiring. Now, the Obaseki-led government, the Obaseki-led government, it's a government that have jettisoned with the Benis, with the Esakos, with the Esans. You have corrected yourself. Are you getting me? It's, uh, it's one man that have shown to the world that we are not qualified to manage our affairs. The stadium that was built, that was recently renovated under uh, Obaseki, the question to ask, up to the point of painting, up to the point of screening, I actually took pains to go there to see what was going on myself as an activist that you know, talks on pro developmental stripes of our state, mm -hmm. I took pain to realize that all the workers that worked in that facility were from Lagos. And the question to ask, don't we have people who are painters in Benin? Don't, in fact, even the furnitures, the furnitures, the cabinets where those uh, footballers dress when they want to go into the pitch, they were all made and brought in from Lagos. When we all know in Africa today that if you want to talk about you know, springing furniture market in Nigeria. You must talk about Benin City. You must talk about Edo State. We have one of the best furniture markets in Africa. In fact, people come here to to export our 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 our, our jobs done by our you know uh, craftsmen in the furniture sector. So when you look at and try to marry what my brother is saying here, you will agree with me that uh, he is not speaking on the point of facts. But however, however. Because some of us will always do the needful to ensure that we enlighten our people you know, in the best form we, we know how to do, we would want to draw the attention of Edo people to the fact that a governor that alleged and in fact set up a probe panel to the fact that the five star central hospital that he is currently operating by private investors have recently renovated the uh, through the NDDC renovated the uh, Stella Obasanjo Hospital, handed over the uh, running of that hospital to private individual. The monies for that hospital, you know, is not going into state government account, but the workers who are manning that facility are under the payroll of state government. That aside, as of today, as of today, talking about the issue of COVID-19, as of today, the, 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 the frontline health workers, particularly the case managers, the uh, case uh, 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 trackers, under the payroll of the state government, have, been, have not been paid. 
the last time I checked, I was about to lead the protest with some of the private uh, volunteers that the state government was owing to the tune of about 400,000 for each of them for the work they did for two months. You know, before the government uh, actually heeded to their demands and they paid some of them and not even all. So mm -hmm. as of today, the governor came out in May 1st, May 1st, Workers' Day, to say, to boast before the world that uh, he was going to pay all forms of uh, hazard allowances and uh, and the enumerations for the health workers to date, my brother. People that have stoken their life for, for uh, the people to be healthy, for the society to be a, you know, a better place. They are not being paid. They are not being paid. And the governor has a character of, uh, of not paying volunteers. Even the people, you saw how health workers who were in the COVID-19, where, where he was boasting that the governor, federal government had to copy them, you know, copy the, the, the governor's policy. The question to ask, did they also copy the governor not paying the workers? All right. As of today, okay. I repeat again, the head case managers for COVID-19 are still being owed, particularly those ones who are on the, who are on the payroll of Thank governors. you. But Thank you, Emmanuel. Now, uh, uh, Stan, you're going to react. You're going to have the last take okay. on this day so because our, our time is up. Thank you. He talked about the, those who don't remember when we talk about job, he gave an example of the stadium being renovated and most of the jobs, if not all, according to him, we are from Lagos. We talked about the workers for COVID-19. We talked about the five-star hospital and the mm. rest of them. Go ahead, quickly. Adam Oshumule told us publicly that they lie effortlessly. So if my friend come out here to lie effortlessly, mm. it's not a problem. But let's go. In the year 2012, from 2012 to 2016, myself and Emmanuel Bogun fought Adam Oshumule to the last. In from two, 2016, as we speak, Emmanuel Bogun and Mr. Eche petitioned Oshumule in respect of this specialist hospital and the Edo University Yamu, requesting Oshomu, is he, the document that I'm going to use in prosecuting Oshomu was endorsed by Manuel Bogun. As of today, I begin to wonder why, what has changed in this whole narrative. That is one. And two, he talked about the jobs. You know, they always come out with this Lagos, 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 Lagos thing. Even recently, they said the printing press that printed this from Lagos, go and check, all these things have been done by people in the Edo state. Now, get it clearly. We talk about expertise and professionality. We have these persons here, and they are being engaged. The only reason why these persons are still against this administration is because of what we've said in the past. Now, again, are you aware that the current development of Samuel Bermuda Stadium in the whole of West Africa, it is only the Samuel Bermuda Stadium that have VAR in football? This was ably done by the Obasaki administration. There's a difference between corruption renovation and a true renovation. Go and check the stadium as we speak. Now, what about the volunteer workers? Now, the volunteer workers that he's talking about, he mm -hmm. said again, and he openly agreed, that he was about initiating a protest before the government paid. And again, he said, not even all. And there was a little confusion in that statement. So I expect him to reconcile himself and come back again in the future. Mm -hmm. But let's state this categorically clear. No matter what we do to try to embellish the situation, a dopey post here have the fantasy. Adam Oshomule told us point blank that Isaiah Amu is a criminal, Isaiah Amu is this, Isaiah Amu is that. But he corrected that at this as a political statement. Then as of today, he said it's a political statement. What he said today again is a political statement. That is one of the things we will not hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me stop because our time is up. We started with you. Our time is up. You see? So please, we are begging. Yeah. Always learn. To speak the truth at all times. Thank you. Sugar coated tongue will not help you guys. Thank you. This thank you. It. Thank you. Obasi is the project. Thank you. Thank I you so, so much. I appreciate you, Stan. I appreciate you, Mauna. Whatever you hear them say is their own opinion. Absolutely. It has nothing to do with ITV. We measure we brought two persons from different political parties to talk on this issue. All about opinion polls. Is it going to have an impact in the forthcoming election? Only time to say will tell. Bye for now.